Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. And thank you for clicking on this video. Your continued support really means the world to me. I truly appreciate it. Today, I'm actually close to home in Riverside, California, and we're gonna take a tour of this home right here that's built by Clayton. That is a two bed, two bath. So let's get going. All right, everybody, real quick, I wanted to show you where your water closet is, but I can't quite get back there. The access is back there with an outside door. But like I was saying earlier, we are here in Riverside, California, visiting Paramount Manufactured Home Sales. And right in front of us is a home built by Clayton West coming from the Tempo series known as the Rising Sun, 24442. Now, this home is a two bed two bath. It sits at 1,042 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 44 by 24 and the starting price for this is about $120,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? So today everybody, like I was saying, we are checking out the Rising Sun from the Tempo series built by Clayton West. Now this home walking in, what I'm seeing is an open floor plan. Uh, lots and lots and lots of windows to let that natural light in. We don't have electricity here today, so that helps. But while you're here, do me a favor, hit that like button down there, click on that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. The size of that living room to let everybody know was 17 feet, five inches by 11 feet, 10 inches and spinning around taking a look at that dining room a pretty good amount of space there too that is eight feet two inches by 11 feet 10 inches and like i was saying a second ago lots and lots of windows um that's the one thing about this home maybe that's why they call it the rising sun because if you don't have any shades you're going to get up with that rising sun, I'll tell you what. But now we're taking a look at um, the kitchen here. We have a stainless steel appliance package with that industrial style range hood. That's pretty nice. I do like the, uh, the brown color of the cabinetry um, with the home. It's not too dark, not too light. I like that. We have shelves everywhere. Those are not adjustable, I can see. Spinning around, taking a look. We've got that double sink right there. More storage, a, si a window right above that sink. So if you're looking out, um, double sink as well. Pretty nice. Um, I like the choice of the, uh, the light gray countertop um, color and the black splash design. That actually complements the, the color of the home so far. I'm liking that. Now we have these shelves here. These are adjustable. So just to let you know that, that's a pretty good deal there. And this home is set up for gas. But remember, when you go into the ordering process with a manufactured home, you can always, always switch that up for electric or whatever you need for your, for your home. So good construction, good luck. Nice. And you know, if you want to know more about this home, you want to know about the dimensions, the features, the amenities, everything else, um, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. That'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some photos, see some uh, videos, see a 3D tour, and most importantly, get that pricing from a retailer that is near you. Because a price quoted earlier is a price from California. And I think right there, that's enough said. So click on that link and find out more. Right there on your right hand side, as you see, is your electrical panel. And we're walking into this utility room to take a quick glance. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got some, um, some contours in it. So if you wanted to put like, you know, a freezer or a refrigerator in this area, you actually could, um, which is pretty nice. And right in there, um, one of those contours is actually where your uh, water heater is uh, with that access outside. So just want to remind you of that. And now we're going to take a look at some of these, uh, these guest rooms. There are two in this home in this nice double wide here. And we're going to spin around and take a look into the first one. And again, the windows here, in my opinion, are a perfect size because they're letting that bright amount of light in. It's not too much. It's not glaring. It's not ugly. You know, it's nice. The uh, size of this uh, guest room, everyone, is 10 feet by 11 feet, 10 inches. It's a pretty decent size room here. We're going to take a look inside this closet and see those, um, those shelvings, the wire shelving in there. Decent size for a closet, I'd have to say. 
Very cool. Now, one thing I did notice is all of your registers are on the floor, so your air and heating is coming from down there. Um, if you see any grates above your doors, those are pass-throughs, so that lets the air flow through. And now we're in the uh, guest room. Uh, this home just was placed here, so you know, they still have a little more decorating to do. Um, you can see even some of the plastic on the toilet there. That's pretty cool. We have your, uh, your standard 30 by 60 unibody shower tub combo, your elongated toilets, pretty darn nice so far. And then behind this door is your HVAC unit. So here is your heater and air conditioner right in there. And uh, now we're gonna take a look into the second room that you can pretty much call a primary room because it has a restroom attached to it so we're going to call it a primary today but the size of this room everyone um, is 10 feet 4 inches by 11 feet 10 inches so this room is bigger than the other room by 4 inches just to let you know and see like I said there's your um, your registers there on the floor and now we're going to take a look in this primary bath over here and see what we have. And we have the dual vanities. We have the same uh, grayish uh, countertop and backsplash. That's pretty nice. And then your standard, uh, probably I think it says a 42 or 36 inch shower um, with dual seats. It's pretty darn nice. This home has Pfister faucets. Um, it has Congolium linoleum on your flooring. Um, fiberglass tub and showers all the way around and now we are in your primary walk-in now the walk-in size here is actually a pretty decent size four feet six inches across by 11 feet 10 inches deep so you know a home of this size that seems to be a good amount of storage space for your needs um, now we're going to walk back on through. Now remember, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Follow along on this journey. We are taking home tours from, from one coast to another, big and small. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know. But this home tour is almost to an end. But don't fret because, you know, there are plenty more of manufactured homes all across the U.S. And we're going to go take a look at them. So I'm going to leave the comforts of my home state of California in a moment or so and we are going to start traveling. We're going to see you up north in the PNW and in Florida soon. So keep an eye on those home tours and thank you everyone for joining me. I truly do appreciate your support and I hope to see you the next time wherever that's going to be. But in that meantime, I hope you live smarter, you choose manufactured, you have wonderful days and travel easy because in my opinion traveling's hard but we're going to get these homes so we'll see you next time everyone have a great day